It was mm-hmm. just so exciting that you can send this email and you could turn ROI back real quick. And like, totally. that was just so intriguing to me because it was so it's, it satisfies that inner like impulse side of yourself, like as an entrepreneur, like quick results that happen, obviously building a list for hundreds of thousands of people yeah. is easy. But like, if you take the rest of that element out and if you know how to write copy and send it and you know, there's a lot of things that come into best practices. It's but, like a game. Yeah, it, it's like a game and it's like, it eventually becomes like, you know, they always say it's like printing cash, right? That's what it yeah. does, but it doesn't happen because you just built an email list. It happens because you took an email list, nurtured it and really got created a trust bond between the company and of mm-hmm. course the end user and then been able to kind of ask them for the sale, right? So totally. it's, it's a cool little sales slash marketing type role in email uh, that comes into place. I got to admit, man, I've never heard anyone make the word email more sexy before in my life, but you're, you're totally <laughs> right, dude. Seriously. Well, we, we live, breathe, and eat, love email here, so that's, uh, yeah. we better make it sexy, you know? And, yeah. and even when it comes to, like, I bet a lot of e-commerce brands, I know the cost per acquisition up front is so high, and, yep. like, only getting higher. It's not getting cheaper. Facebook right. prices are growing every year. There's more and more demand on Facebook. And I'm just talking about Facebook, obviously. Google, the rest is the same, especially Christmas season. But that's where email can really come in and cash in. Yeah, not only the nurturing stage, but also that repeat buying cycle. That's what we preach exactly. and we try to teach a lot of people is like your ROI should not stop on the first purchase. It should stop after should multiple purchases and that should be the starting. So where traditionally email is the end e-commerce, email is actually the beginning of their stage of life with your company mm. and being able to curate them with a personalized experience is really important as well too. Totally. Yeah. Could you actually uh, touch on that a little bit? Because um, that's one thing we found as far as making emails very personalized. Yeah. Whether you add, even if you add like the date that day or obviously all the, the name tokens, the state tokens, et cetera. Uh, can you talk about clients that do that versus clients that don't? Sure, absolutely. Well, there's two parts to it, right? So I'll, I'll break this down into two parts. The first is really talking about personalization and then talking about client success behind that. But all right, so personalization, we break into two segments. So the first personalization is exactly what you said, like, what's your first name? What's your last name? What's all the data points that you're creating, right? But the second point of personalization for us that we really preach and we try to push a lot, a lot of our e-commerce brands to do is really about personalizing through behavior, about like what websites did they visit before they got that email? What what are they actually doing on your website and tying that journey between your website and your actual e in your actual store together so that people feel like you're actually giving them that personalized one-on-one type of interest or communications based around it. So if they viewed a certain product or they, they viewed a verse, uh, certain, uh, certain product or looked at the pricing page a certain amount of times, or they added a card, all these things are behaviors, right? So sending yeah. that message on that one-on-one basis becomes a personalized experience. So when you take those two pieces of personalization together and you time together, it becomes ultra or hyper personalized, right? Where yeah. people are like, okay, this person obviously knows what I'm doing, knows my name, knows my information, knows what I want. And now it's time to make that purchase, right? So yeah. that's, the, that's the core of what we consider personalization. We don't look at it as just about the name and, name and like some data points, but really how that behavior is. And then from that, what it flows down to and success side of things is you see a dramatic uplift of people's revenue and ROI that they're generating when they're able to take those personalization points of like putting triggers in place to make sure that during behavioral actions that like you as a company usually know more or less like what trigger points you need to know, like what, you know, what they're buying, what they're upselling and all that, all that stuff in your e-commerce company and being yeah. able to a- activate those trigger points as the data points in order to trigger your next communication to them instead of just about newsletters and automated drips, right? Like we think yeah. further than that. And that's, that's what personalization is in e-commerce. That's awesome. That's Dude, so you, you talked about the second part of uh, personalization, which was looking at the sites they've been to before, what they're doing on your site. How the hell do you wrap that all into like some sort of email marketing program? That's yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it seems complicated, but it's really not as complicated. I mean, for us, it's just a simple tracking code that we're tracking across your sites and yeah. being able to kind of track that journey. And then inside of our product, it's all about segmentation of being able to take that information and using real-time segmentation to like really drive that to create these little segmented audiences or based on the behavior that's happening real-time between your store and your website and being able to deliver it. So I'm looking at products looked at or product purchased or abandoned carts. So those are all triggers that are happening on the backside as well too. So there's two parts to it that kind of connect in together. 